It's work day today. I'm so happy with it. Way, way better. Yay, the side of the shed is done. Good job, Tom Tom. Thank you. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. So now we're trying, oh, shirtless Tom. Yep. We're trying to mouse proof the shed because mice like it. Uh huh. Yeah, so I could probably close the gap. Uh huh. That one I could. Uh huh. So if we go over here, I don't want to go over there, there's poison ivy. You put it too close to the edge and then they will be able to um, maybe not fall on it and hold on to the edge while they lick the... Lick it. You better wash your hands good after that, of course. Oh, there you go. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> It smells toxic. And we are going to work on the shed today. I just got a brand new iPhone. Um, because my daughter dropped hers in the toilet. So that means that she gets mine and I get a new one because I had the oldest one. So yay! So I'm gonna record this on my phone. Hopefully I won't drop it. Look how pretty our gardens are. Woohoo! Everything is beautiful right now. It's amazing. Tom is doing something. Not sure what he's doing. Yeah, you're watering the hostas. So see, we have these rows of Sharon. And let's see what else. Oh, see my little table. Oops. Oh, the tablecloth blew off because I took the plant off. And I'm gonna whip you around here. Don't get dizzy. We'll do it slow. So the hydrangeas are starting to bloom. Really, really pretty. Our stone walls are majorly gorgeous. Guy, I love this place. Watering the hostas. Yeah, you you transplanted them. Yeah. Dead tree. You said that we were gonna take that tree down. Five trees. What? You gotta hire the guy. Yeah, you gotta hire the guy. He's gonna take five trees down. They need to go before they go on their own. These chairs look like they need to be sat in. Oh, ooh, whoops. Woo. It's a nice place to sit. a pretty view. The question is, will adults sleep on them when they're bunked? 
then I have this terrible feeling that I might want to bunk the beds and then look at them and go, oh no, that was a bad idea. Okay, let's just set it up. The headboard though, we want to see that on the bed. We don't want that sticking out and we don't want to see this on oh. the inside of the bed, no. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you. No, you did it wrong. Oh my gosh, you did it wrong. Remember, I said, th I said that goes on the inside so that we see it when the bed is set up. So we, s this goes on the inside. No, no, never. No, you have to see this when you're laying against the bed. You have to see that. Well, that one, that side's right. It's the other, the headboard that's wrong. You don't have to take the footboard out. You got. <laughs> okay, honey, because that's inside out. So if you walk into a room, let's say you walk into a room and you walk up to that headboard. And where would the headboard be? Against the wall? Not necessarily. Always against the wall. Not necessarily. Right, well, Oh, you are. Okay, anybody watching this video, help me out here. Doesn't the decorative side of the headboard not go against the wall? Well, it goes. Against the wall, yes, I can agree with that. Not Yeah, we're not doing this. It's well. the correct way. I'm not saying anything else. Taking a little drive this morning. We have some friends painting at the farm, and it's Friday, so of course we have to get a video out. We've been working on the shed. Um, it's going slow, really slow. And part of the reason that the shed has gone slow is we have this little problem. I'm gonna see if I can show you what our little problem is. Look at, look at what we found in the basement. Pretty much next to the cat. The cat was more interested in the treats. These temptation mix-ups did tempt and mix her up because cats are supposed to catch mice. But no, we have this little mouse like crawls up here while I'm doing this and crawls on my lap. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god. Mice have ears so she can hear me. I know, right? It's a tiny little baby mouse and we think it's so cute. So even though we don't want mice in our house, and you know, I don't know why we have mice living in the basement with the cat there. I thought the whole thing about cats was that, you know, even the cat's smell of pee and poop would keep the mice away. Obviously, that is not true. I mean, look at the size of it. I don't even know how to, look at, there's my hand and there's the mouse. So the mouse is like barely bigger than a finger. Catnip fever, chicken catnips and cheddar flavors obviously taste better than the mouse. <laughs> set free the little critter. <laughs> Probably get eaten by a snake, but we feel like we're doing the right thing here by not killing her. Is she? Does she like her new world? She's probably never been outside. Now I have to go see. Make sure there's no poison ivy here. Oh, there she is. Oh my. 
Look at you, little thing. It's so cute. It is really cute. Bye -bye. <laughs> Are you gonna pet her? Nope, she doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> she can hardly walk. Now we're here at our father's table. It's a bakery and restaurant. We were told the scones are really good. So we're just gonna go check it out. I was thinking of painting our house. What do you think? <laughs> Not excited, <laughs> but you can have whatever color you want. Now, what do we want to say? I don't know. <laughs> Play it to a gal. Yum. The way you You're just gonna video. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> it was a quick through. It was a quick through. <laughs> This is as far as we got. <laughs> Are we ever going to get done with this shed? Uh, as soon as the video is done, it will be done. <laughs>